Hey Ev, did you make it to the zoo, bud? We made it in his red hot chili pepper shirt. Also guys, I'm wearing shorts in public. Honestly, I'm shocked. Like, look at my legs. I haven't done this in 20 years, so bear with me. It's very strange feeling to not um, be wearing jeans in public. You ready to go see the animals? Last time you came here, you were really little and you couldn't walk yet. The zoo is so much more fun when you can uh, walk, huh? We both decided he likes it better to look at people. <laughs> Ooh. Go ahead, buddy. This is a pill. What's that? He's really intrigued by it. Look at them, they're huge. And then what are those, Daddy? Some sort of goat? <laughs> Bye, bud. He's so excited to see you. <laughs> he likes it. in the background and I'm making a quick easy lunch for Ev. Sometimes he likes these, sometimes he doesn't. Hello. 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 My mom is picking Ella up from school. We love that for us. We had such a good time at the zoo. It was really fun. He had way more fun this time than the last time we went. <laughs> you did and it exhausted you. I obviously need to run a brush through my hair. I'm going to share this with you guys. I've shared it a couple times on my channel before. It's called Divi. I cannot even stand by because I have to tell you guys about Divi for real. I have now been using it for eight weeks and I will insert some pictures. I have really terrible scalp psoriasis, like awful. And it's brought on by stress or hormones. Um, it just really depends. I have, if I don't have this, I get completely like inflamed. I ran out actually and I had to purchase my own and I even paid for like shipping, uh, like the same day shipping on it myself because I cannot live without this. This is like one of my staple products that I use all of the time now. It basically just nourishes and hydrates your scalp and your scalp health is like the best thing for your hair. It also aids in hair thinning, which is great if you have that issue. Obviously I had a lot of postpartum hair breakage it's been amazing for that. It smells good. You can put it in your hair like wet or dry. Um, it won't leave your hair greasy or disgusting. <sighs> I'm going to insert pictures because as you can see my scalp, I have no breakouts or psoriasis flare up at all. And when it's bad, it's really bad. And if you have psoriasis or struggle at all, then you know that feeling and it's terrible, terrible. And it's helped so my hair grow so much. So stinking. <laughs> Yes, buddy. I actually have a code now with Divi. If you guys want to try it yourselves, you can use the code LaurenB15 and save money on your order. I'm telling you, if you struggle at all with either hair thinning or especially with my psoriasis, that's the one thing that I can say I use it the most for. Um, I think I originally started using it for like hair growth, but it is just 
I've used everything. I've used tea gel shampoo, anti-dandruff shampoo, every oil you can think of. This is the only thing that's ever helped my scalp, ever in my life. And I absolutely love it. It smells amazing. So if you guys do want to check it out, you can use the code LaurenB15. And I will make sure I have the link. I'll make sure I have the link to it pinned down below. Like, it's changed my life. I'm not even kidding you. But because I was like all sweaty and stuff, I just want to like get the gunk out of my hair. Like dry shampoo, it's really good if you use dry shampoo. It gets that gunk off your scalp. It's just 10 out of 10. Look at that. Time for lunch to be done. I put you down yesterday and I never picked you back up. What the heck is wrong with me? Hi, okay. So I obviously don't have makeup on. Evan John are at the beach getting some wiggles out. You guys, I don't know about you and your kids. Ella was way more of like a homebody kid than Everett is. Everett cannot be home. Like he's gotta be, he's gotta do two things a day. He just, the second he wakes up, he's ready to just be going and doing something. So that's why we got zoo passes so that we have that on our little arsenal, the beach, the park play dates all the things all the time but i wore shorts yesterday which was like iconic for me i never wear shorts i've always i have shorts and i wear them to like the beach and the pool and stuff but i don't ever wear them out and it was 90 degrees yesterday at the zoo and i was like you know what i'm not gonna be hot anymore i am wearing shorts in public and guess what happened nobody said anything to me and i was a thousand times cooler than i would have been if i didn't wear shorts so this may be your reminder or in a little encouragement. Put the shorts on and wear them. <clears throat> and wear them. It's summertime, it's hot, and nobody gives a hoot. I actually made my shorts. I DIY'd them, which is exciting. Um, because shorts are hard to buy for me. I have found a couple pairs in my life, but I have a big belly and smaller legs, so it's hard. So I just took a pair of my favorite jeans that don't fit me right, like a little too big down in my calf area and i cut them into shorts and wouldn't you know iconic they were long enough that i didn't like it all chafy they were cute if you guys want to see like a little diy shorts toots tutorial holler at your girl but i'm saying all of this to say because i i thought i've shared before on my channel like why like what happened to my leg i have this gnarly scar i'm actually going to show you guys real quick stand by how am i going to do this though because i don't want to take my pants off uh, I'll take my pants off. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Cause now my pants are off. Oh God, hold on. So, there's my scar. But I stopped wearing shorts when I was in seventh grade. And I have, I thought I've talked about it on this channel before, but I actually had a bone tumor. Isn't that fun? When I was 12 years old, I it was a hurricane and we had a leak in my mom's house. I slipped and fell, got an x-ray, and, and they found a spot on my left femur. And they're like, hey, that's not normal. They watched it for a few months and it grew significantly. So I had all of the scans done, bone scans, MRIs, CAT scans, PET scans, all the scans. And I had the tumor removed when I was in seventh grade. I missed a bunch of school. And it was one of those situations like when they wheeled me back into surgery. I never knew any of this because my mom's a rock star and she stayed calm, cool, and collective the whole time. I had no idea that I like potentially was about to lose my leg but if it was really bad and it was a big c they were going to amputate my leg in that surgery can you imagine waking up and not having a leg they really took a risk there but thankfully they didn't have to do that so basically they took um bone marrow from my hip i have a nice little scar over here too and that actually hurt worse than my surgery for a minute but they took bone marrow from my hip and they used cadaver bone and made like a bone cement so my left femur 95 percent of it is made out of cadaver bone cement fun fact and ever since i've had this scar because it was gnarly for like my life this scar is 20 years old and it's still big and like i don't know i've always been super self-conscious about it but I stopped wearing shorts. That's why I don't wear shorts. Everybody's like, I had a lot of comments on Facebook because I posted pictures yesterday. Like, why wouldn't you wear shorts? And I guess if you're new here or like you don't know like my journey with being super self-conscious about my legs, uh, that's why I have a hard time wearing shorts. It's like one of those things. I think a couple of boys said some mean things about my scar when I was in like middle school and it just probably stuck, you know, fun things like that stick. And I just never wore shorts ever again. <laughs> ever 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 again and now i am and it's like a whole new freaking world for me a whole new world 
I have never felt more comfortable than I did yesterday in the summertime. I wore a t-shirt and shorts. That is not normal for me. I always wear capris, always, 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 or like athletic leggings. I'm not gonna hide the fact that I'm fat by wearing leggings or pants. Like I still have the same size legs. So I'm gonna let these babies breathe this summer and it was so liberating and I enjoyed the zoo 1,000 times more with my kid. I feel like I'll be a better mom because I'm gonna be way more comfortable. I really hope this encourages you like if you have scars or cellulite, you see my legs? Okay, they're lumpy and dumpy, man. They are lumpy and pale because I don't see sun and they have spider veins on some of them. It's just, you know, I don't have the cutest legs, but guess what? Nobody even cares. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. Not a single person cared. And I felt 10,000 times better. I swear you can be a better mom when you feel more like comfortable in what you're doing. And we had the best time at the zoo yesterday. And my legs sweat and I put lotion on them. I'm gonna have to learn as I go because I don't know these like skinny people things, but I put lotion on my legs before we left and I got sweaty and then it was like a big slimy leg. So um, if you have any tips for that, let me know because that was like, I'm like, why is my leg so slimy? And John's like, you put lotion on, it's like, duh. The things you learn, the more you know. But yes, I had a big, I had a big tumor and I have a huge scar on this leg and ever since I've just been super self-conscious but I felt like a free woman yesterday. I felt more free than I've ever felt in my entire life. And it's so wild to me that a pair of shorts can do that. So I do wanna show you guys how I made them if you're super interested in that. I don't wanna just film it and then people be like, okay. So um, let me know, sound off in the comment section if you want me to show you how I made DIY shorts. I actually like saw a video on TikTok and it's pretty awesome. Because if you have a hard time buying them where they fit your belly and your legs like me, wow, what a new world, what a world. Yeah, that's what we did yesterday. <laughs> I know, super fun vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you let me know down below. What? Just get, tell me something good. Tell me something good that's happened to you today. Tell me a way you're stepping out of your comfort zone of this year in the summertime. And I hope you guys have the best day ever. We will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Wear the shorts.